Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have to share with you my Scentsy haul. This includes my bi-monthly club, which also has in it the Whiff Box for May 2023. So let's just dive in. Got some dog hair here on my desk because it's everywhere. Uh, so first we'll start with the bars in my club, um, since a lot of you have probably seen the whiff box at this point. This is my club that I normally try to keep around 10 um, items or 10 bars so that I can get a half off item. This time I think I went a little bit over with my bars just because there was a couple that I wanted to try um, and then I'll be making some cuts. So the first one I have is Pink Berry Fluff. This was in the Easter collection and I really enjoy this because this is a pink smell that I can actually smell. It's so nice with the marshmallow fluff and the sweetness. It's such a nice bedroom scent. So this will be staying in my club at least for a while. The next bar we have is Peter Pan Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. Now this is an LTO that is currently available and I have worn this and I really, really enjoy it. It is a fun, tropical, fruity, summery scent. So good. Um, I did talk about this in my last empties video. Um, I compared it to Dumbo, but it's different. Um, it does have kiwi. Um, it doesn't have as much of a citrus note, but if you like Dumbo, I think you would enjoy this. So this is a really fun bar and a decent performer. And um, this will be staying in my club for a little while at least as well. The next one I have is Mango Wildflower. This was from the um, Go Go Mango collection. Uh, this actually turned out to be my favorite from the collection. I liked all of them, but I believe that this was my favorite. And this is a great floral scent. Um, a pretty good performer. I really like it for my bedroom. Um, I wanted to get one more bar to have on hand, um, which is this bar. And I probably will be taking it out of my collection. Even though I really enjoy this scent. I mean, taking it out of my um, club. Uh, just because... You know, I do have other florals in my clubs that I enjoy more, but man, this is such a nice scent. So that is the Mango Wildflower. Next one I picked up another bar of is a Blue Coconut Beach. Uh, this was in the Mother's Day collection, I believe, and this is a very pretty scent. Um, I wanted to get it again to test the performance. If I remember right, it was actually a decent performer. And I really do like the coconut in here. But um, now that I have my office back, which is where I'm filming today, I think this would be a good zone to try this out and um, get a better sense of, of performance with this one. So this is a really pretty coconut scent. I know Scentsy has come out with several coconut scents recently and this season, but this is one of my favorites so far. It's um, creamy. It's summery. If you like um, Mountain Sunset, this is similar but stronger. Mountain Sunset's pretty light. So I do prefer this over the catalog scent Mountain Sunset. So this will give me time to decide um, if I would like to keep this in my club or maybe just, you know, stock up on a few bars of it. Ooh, the next one I have is Beauty and the Beast, The Last Petal. Um, this is an LTO that has returned. It is currently available. And this is such a nice scent. Um, I'm so glad I had another chance to try it again and possibly club it. Um, it's a floral with like a white grapefruit citrus note. So, um another citrus floral but it's it's sweet and mm, so good that grape that white grapefruit really um makes this bar in my opinion so 
this will stay in my club for a little while longer as well. And um, then I'm going to have to make some decisions. Uh, another bar um, that I warm quite a bit of is Gimme Candy. And actually, I have two bars in this club. So I think the time has come with the new Bring Back My Bar coming out and everything to narrow, cut it down to one bar of Gimme Candy. Um, I think I have one in my quarterly too, so that'll give me enough. I, I find that I'm not reaching for this quite as much in the warmer months, but this is just a great butterscotch scent. Um, it's so delicious. So um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love Gimme Candy, and I will keep it in my club, but I think it is time to drop it down to one bar. All right, the next bar is also from the Easter collection. This is Violet and Spun Sugar. This is one that I didn't really care for on cold, but once I warmed it, I really, really liked it. Um, it does pretty good, too. Did really well in my bedroom. I like that it has the violet, but then that sweet, fluffy marshmallow note again is what I get in here. And... It's just a really enjoyable bar. So um, I think that'll probably stay for a while. Okay, here's a bar that might be on the chopping block for me. This is World Traveler. Um, great performer. One of my favorite masculine scents. But if I have to make cuts, um, this one might be it. It's been in my this club for a while since it came out in that Bring Back My Bar as a club exclusive. Jeez, that was probably, what, a year and a half ago? And so I need to look at my stash, but I believe that I have a few of these. And it is one that, as much as I enjoy it, I think I could probably live without it if I, you know, had to make some cuts. So... Mm. This is just um, a really nice, sophisticated, masculine scent. Um, but possibly on the chopping block for me. Okay, one that is not on the chopping block is Lemon Coconut Chiffon. I love this. This is the best smelling lemon scent I have ever smelled. Um, it's a bakery lemon with a little bit of coconut. I do prefer this to the current, uh, what is that, uh, can't think of it the lemon um bakery that's in the catalog right now um so i will keep this in my club this is a bar that i reach for quite a bit um it's a clean scent with that little bit of hint of bakery and it's just beautifully blended love that one um caramel apple craze so this has been in my club for a while too i really enjoy this one um, but I don't know. It might possibly be on the chopping block. I would cut out World Traveler before I cut this one out. But like as far as bakery goes, I do prefer Lemon Coconut Chiffon or Gimme Candy to this one. But man, this is such a great performer and it is a powerhouse. So I don't know. Um... For now, it's going to stay, but it might not stay forever. I think I do have a decent stash of that. And then the last uh, regular club bar that I have in here is Huckleberry and Clementine. And this one I do plan on keeping in here. Um, it's a really, really nice Huckleberry. Um, it's tart. It's strong. I just love it. So, um, Huckleberry and Clementine, and I think this was in a recent, uh, bar bundle in the recent warehouse sale. Uh, so I was able to get another one that way, but yeah, that's a, that's a really great one. Okay. So now on to the whiff box. I was so excited when I saw what was going to be in this whiff box. Um, it has a lot of items from the upcoming summer collection, I would have bought the whiff box at full price had it not been um, my club month. So it really worked out. The other nice thing is I believe all of the new scents are in here in one form or the other. And so because of that, I did not purchase the early access um, summer 
bars, which the summer collection this year is actually called Sunshine State of Mind Collection. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. We have here our card lift box. It's a good day for a good day. My husband has a shirt that says that. We had our air bubble, um, our bar for the scent of the month for next month, which is June. Wait, no, no, no. This is part of the collection. <laughs> okay. This is part of the um, Sunshine State of Mind collection. And I haven't smelled any of these. This is called Ocean Air and Coconut Water. Okay, that's nice, but it's pretty light. Yeah, that is pretty light. Let's read the description here. Coconut water and white driftwood join carefree ocean air for a perfect day on the shore. I almost get a little bit of like a sunscreen smell in here too. But it might be the coconut that I'm smelling. I want to compare this to the Blue Coconut Beach. Blue Coconut Beach is much more fragrant to my nose. So I'll warm this and see how it compares. But I have a feeling it's going to be a little too light for me. I might end up letting the rest of it sit. It's not a bad smell, just light. Uh, the next one is Tangerine and Sugar Cane. I am excited about this one. Let's smell it. Mmm. That's nice. It is a sweet orange. Almost kind of like a creamsicle, but not like the Scentsy um, orange creamsicle. So this is described as, hmm, sweet ruby grapefruit, juicy tangerine and sugar cane soak up every sunny moment. So this has ruby grapefruit in it. And I don't get a lot of that on cold. I'm going to break open the bar here. No. Kind of get that artificial food orange smell. But no grapefruit. Maybe that'll come out more when it warms. That one, it smells like it would be a medium on cold. Definitely stronger than the ocean air and coconut water. Uh, the next bar is also from the summer collection, and this is pineapple dragon fruit. Hmm. Actually, that's pretty good. I wasn't sure with the dragon fruit. Hmm, that's pretty good. And out of them, I think that this would be the strongest so far. There's something in here. Is there like a... A lime note. My bar just kind of crumbled on its own here. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, this is a bubbly mix of pineapple, dragon fruit, and sparkling lemon. Shines bright with a touch of crystallized sugar. So it's that sparkling lemon that I'm picking up on. I, I love me some sparkly. And that lemon is... um giving it a nice zest there. Don't really get a lot of pineapple, maybe a little bit. Um, that's really nice. This might be my favorite so far. Pineapple and dragon fruit. And look at the um, dragons on the clamshell. Isn't that cute? Okay. The next scent we have, oh, pineapple dragon fruit. It's also in hand soap, which I needed some more hand soap, so this is perfect. And let me just check here. Was there only three scents in the collection? Tangerine, sugar cane, pineapple, dragon fruit, ocean air. Huh, I thought there would be four. So we did get a full-size bar of each, which is awesome. And um, 
you know, you can get that early through the whiff box, even if you're not a consultant. And then the hand soap and the pineapple dragon fruit, which is my favorite out of them on cold. So that worked out. And we have a washer whiffs tub here of Fiji flower. Um, this made its way into the catalog this season as a former LTO washer whiffs from a former summer collection. Um, this is really nice. I have a big tub of it I'm using right now. Um, this is a new design for the washer whiff, um, small tubs. I used to have um, curved edge on the lids, but same size and everything. So um, I'm excited to have that and that will definitely get used. So the current scent in the month is Pacific Mist. Um, I don't need to open it to smell it because I actually have this warming right now in this room I'm in. And it's really nice. Um, I was trying to remember what scent it kind of reminded me of in my unboxing of this. And um, luckily someone was gracious enough to remind me it's Star Apple and Freesia. Reminds me a bit of that, but with um, more of a fresh note than a floral note. And so I am really enjoying this. It's a decent performer in this size room, which is a smaller room. Um, I will be trying it out in my open concept and I'll let you guys know how it performs there. But yeah, this is a really nice scent. Um, I'm happy that I got the kit with that. And then the last thing in this whiff box is a scent circle in Lake My Day. Um, this scent is all right to me. It's in the fresh category, but it's a pretty masculine scent. So I don't dislike it. I just don't love it. Um, so I'll put this in the car for my husband to enjoy and um, we'll, we'll enjoy it that way. But I don't know that I'll repurchase this scent again. It's not unique enough for a masculine scent for me. So there we have it. That is my um, bi-monthly club with the Whiff Box, which is an amazing deal. Um, I got that half off. And if you're wanting to try the summer products early, um, whether, rather than waiting until the 1st of June, go ahead and get yourself a whiff box this month and you'll be able to enjoy them all that way. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new summer collection, what items you're looking forward to getting. There's lots of other items besides the wax and you know, bathroom cleaner and everything. One thing that I'm very excited about, and I have it pulled up here, so I think I can, I should be able to show you guys, but Sensi is going to have a travel pillow. Look at this. And it has a zipper pocket where you can put in scent packs, just like um, our buddies. And that's so cute. So I definitely plan on getting that when it launches. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.